Welcome back, my agents, to another episode of The Insured Gamer, playing Railway Empire. We're going to take a little bit of a break from the campaign, just a small, tiny one, uh, because I want to venture out into new territories, some DLC that we've gotten here. So, if this is something that you're looking for, please stick around and stay tuned. Be strong. Be strong. So what we're looking at today, I know in the regular campaign, I think you're at episode six now, I believe, and getting into the East Coast, uh, gonna learn a little bit more about some character dynamics, but that all plays a big part in the uh, the scenarios, or rather the free mode. Um, free mode is pretty neat as well. We've got, I, I was able on Steam to purchase a couple of, um, like for a dollar, purchase some extra modes where we can have like the different locations such as japan uh got another japan so apparently those are two japans there i guess this is bigger okay and then uh one of the ones i want to look at there's australia is germany so i'm looking for germany here so and i'm looking down here uh this is scandinavia france germany uh, germany is uh what i'm looking at it looks like it has a lot of mountains here uh, but we're gonna take a look at this one Germany, as surrounding areas, the middle European landscapes are stretching from the flat coasts of the North Sea and Baltic Sea, which have been formed by glaciers during the last ice age. So this is something that I, oh, I, can I, oh, I can do the time period? Oh, that's cool. I guess I want to start off, though, at the lowest, although I don't really like the lowest, the next one up, but we'll, we'll just start off from here. Um... Oh, and I don't know any of these towns at all. At all. All right, sorry there, back with you. I had a little bit of a sound issue, but we're back. But like I was saying, don't know any of these towns at all. Um, okay, well, other than Berlin, uh, uh Castle, Kassel, Munich, so that's gonna be fun pronouncing these names. I feel like I want to start off in Berlin just because I know it, or have heard of it at least. Um, one male Berlin, competitors are three, the competitors are kind of fun, I mean, it's interesting to see them trying to take over things, but I'm okay with that. Um, realistic railways are good. Pause mode. I like the Trainiac because it doesn't allow me to pause. So when I'm creating rail lines, that's my biggest thing is when I'm creating rail lines, I don't like the game pausing because I want to pick up some money. Uh, so we're going to have that. We, I like the Snowfall. I played with it uh, off screen a little bit. I don't know what territories are. If this option is activated, the region will be split into single areas for which your business has to secure access rights. I kind of like that. But I'm, I'm okay with not doing that, though, too. All right, let's do this. Um, do we want to do any of advanced tunnel costs 100%? Yeah, okay. Let's do it. search is over. You found what you're looking for, partner. I pity those poor unsuspecting souls. I call it the business. The rest. Hey, are you a man? I certainly won't right. disappoint okay. you. Right, okay. Um, I've up? only played with Did this guy. We play I think I played a little bit with this guy. And this is my main dude that I'm on right now. Hard facts. Um... Because, you know, construction factories are 50% cheaper, locomotive engines. I'm really looking at these top ones right here. Express trains will receive a double bonus for ticket revenues. Oh, that's interesting. Benefits of last income for freights, but I don't like that. I don't care about auctions. This is really what I look at right here. Um, I like this, but it's 40% higher cost for tunnels and bridges. We try to avoid tunnels and bridges, but I like that 20% less track costs. So I really like that. Uh, I like Walter Van Kopinik. Kopinik? I designed it myself. Let's go with, uh, what should the name of my company be? Um, mm, I don't, I don't want to be, let's see, uh, 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 P 
pinnacle. How do you spell pinnacle? No, I don't want to do that. Um, free spirit railway. Yeah, free spirit railway. That's that's the name of my company. Let's start it. All right, so here we go. We are in Germany, your starting off in Berlin. Been founded, your startup capital transferred, and your list of tasks created. But Great. beware of your three opponents. Of course. I've also turned off the tools and tips um, because, I don't know, I just, I don't like it. So let's get going from Berlin, and we'll go to Stetten. We'll go from Berlin to Stetten. As always, now I, I have learned something useful. We do have the train stations, but really what we want to look for is train station with signal control. It's only $20,000 more than a normal train station. But what this allows, and I found this out the hard way, uh, and I think we want to swing around there. What this allows, I was having a problem with trains coming in, and they were only going into one rail. They were only going into one station. They weren't using both of them. So when one filled up, I would have a line of trains waiting up here and I would they would only be going into one. Well, I found out that I was supposed to be using the signal controls. That will allow them to go into both of the uh, of the the train stations there. So I learned that kind of the hard way. Um, I don't know anything about Germany. Wow, it goes way up here. I don't know what is north, south, east, and west. Okay, I guess on my mini-map over here to the right, I guess I'm looking north. Okay, cool. How far south does she go? She goes quite a ways. Quite a ways, okay. I'm just thinking, uh, and I see my competitors over here. I got one, two, and three. I've got one over here to the left. Okay, he's making his way already, so I want to... Yeah, let's let's go to Stetten. Um, I'm in Berlin. We might want to make our way to Schwerin, 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 Schwerin. That's how. No, Schwerin, Schwerin. I'll make my way over there. Uh, but what is this? This is a new thing. It's like bed rolls or something. A Fasselt farm. Oh, that's the name of it. Okay, but we want to go here. What are they into? Oh, we've got beef. I like that. That's kind of cool. Bread, pigs, wheat. Everybody's always liking wheat, though. Um, there, there's not really many resources around here other than the pig and the wheat up here. And, okay, here's some wheat. So maybe we should go to Landsberg first and secure the northeast. Okay, so let's go to Landsberg first. I will be using this track to go there because um, I, I want to have the option to go north. And I, I thought that this little symbol, if you notice the mountain symbol, I thought that that was like how much I was terraforming, but actually that is how much of a slope we have right there. So if we don't want much of a slope, there's a bridge right there. It's already, oh, and our dollars are different too. If you'll notice over here, our dollars are, mm, I don't know what Germany uses. Euro, they don't definitely don't use euros, but where are we going? Landsberg. Okay. Looks semi-flat. I guess we would need to create a train station over here in Landsberg too. Again, doing the train station with signal control is a big thing. And if you're new to this game, that's really, I, I highly recommend the signal control. Is really what you're wanting to look for here. Now, um, I'll probably go to Stetton, probably from Landsberg. So we're gonna go ahead, and connect to the bottom section. And I think that I, I just want to make sure I've got my open section on the right here and my other open section on the right here as well. All right. Only 162 whatevers. I'm curious now to see 
uh, to know what what that what, what what German what do they use for currency? I just looked it up. Germany uses the euro. I didn't know that, but Germany uses the euro. <clears throat> um, we're really, you know, that's, I think we want to get this wheat in here is the biggest thing. We're, I think we're going to do a double rail over here as, re as well. I really like from town to town having a double rail going. Uh, one, it's cheaper. Uh, I get a parallel. I get $50,000 off, 50,000 euro off when doing the double rail. But it's also easier when you're connecting a station there as well. Uh, we're going to do a small station because we're really not going to go through here. We're just wanting to connect it to the big one, the big baddie, and which we will do. Okay, we're probably going to let's let's come over here. Let's uh, two percent upgrade. I'm okay with. All right, and we want to connect this one to here. And this one's gonna swing around here. But then we also want to swing around to this side and pick up. Oh, we don't want a tunnel. Don't you do a tunnel. There we go. And then we should be able to, yeah, connect it right on there. I have to do a little bit of finagling here. Oh, why is it snowing? I was wondering why my screen was going so white. Uh, let's see if I can... Um... There we go. I can take a... Yeah, there we go. All right. Again, while we do the double train here is I am going to make sure that we have a one-way going. But we do want to connect a rail from here to Berlin. Uh, we don't have much going as far as a locomotive. Oh, this, look, you even get different trains when you're going to a different country. That's pretty freaking cool. I like that. I want to look at that. That's a different train. Like in, in the U.S., you didn't have this type of looking train. That's pretty neat. Go ahead and crank up the sound for y'all just in case. Well, I'm going to crank down the sound, actually. Been having a bit of a trouble figuring out the right sound ratio but I, you know i think where it's at is okay um all right so we got that train going it's going to be taking some wheat over i wouldn't mind having two trains going ahead and bringing wheat uh did berlin need wheat but all, i mean everything always needs wheat and then we've got bread we want to get our bread going out um, and I think for Berlin, it is actually a bread factory. Cool. So we're going to get our bread going to Landsberg. Because I, no, well, they're a bread company too. Well, that's not good. So I guess we need a train going from, um, yeah, from <laughs> Magenthaler, Magenthaler Estate to Landsberg as well. I think we might just do an express train from Landsberg to Berlin. Uh, we can do that. Let's go ahead and create that real quick. We're going to do freight, no, passenger mail only to Berlin. Get that going, add a locomotive, buy him. Good. And let's go ahead and get some wheat going to Landsberg as well. Landsberg from Margenthaler to Landsberg. I mean, it's, it's automatically going to just do wheat. We don't really have to set that. Let's go ahead and look at some... Uh, can we can we research some stuff? Oh, yeah, we can we can get some stuff going here. Uh, that was 200. I probably should have went for that one first. Uh, this one increases the reliability of your locomotives by 6%. That's always nice. They're always breaking down on me, so... Uh, what we need to do, though, now is probably create, like, a a pass. A little... Oh, yeah, I forgot. I need to do um, some other stuff. Okay, like that. And... I need to create a supply tower. I like doing the supply towers right outside the big cities. This means that anything going out there will automatically um, 
you know, be, be resupplied, which is nice. So that means everything from going from Mergenthaler Estate will be resupplied. And it just, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it, I don't have to put them all over the place and can't remember where I put them. I just have to go to the big cities and know that, hey, they're there. Um, but let's get our one-way rail going here. We're going to do some signaling. We'll do it right in front of here. There we go. Signal going there. We're going to get a signal here as well, right in front of this station. Good. And then we're going to get our signals going here as well. You're going this way. There we go. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. I think we're good. There we go. And uh, we're going to put something right here. We're going to get that going one way. That way, we can have two trains going at once over here. That'll allow that to happen. Why can't I put something there? There we go. Switch you back. It's not very long. Hmm. I think it's okay, though. Uh-oh. Okay, that train's fine. Yeah, that should be okay. I, th I think it's long enough. I'm not sure, but I think it's okay. That uh, might not be long enough. Okay, it's long enough. Because you don't want the trains colliding is the big thing. I might try to redo it a little bit. Yeah. Bid! Current bid! We have 260,000. Increases the power of your locomotive by 4%. I'll, I'll bid on that. I'll put a little bit in there. Um, oh, yeah, go okay. Ahead. It will surely be another opportunity. Now the problem is, is this, is this stop long enough though? I don't know if that's long enough. Let's, let's, uh, let's just delete this. I want to make that longer. Oh, a little bit of glitch in there. There we go. That's much, much better. And get our signals going here. Yep, there. That's that's much better, much longer to have them split off. And then you've got, and I'm going to use American standards where the track is on the right-hand side is going straight. Left-hand side is going the opposite direction. Is he waiting on somebody? Oh. Yeah, he's waiting on somebody. Um, one of the things I want to do too is put some more signals. I've realized the more signals you have, the further that they can go. Which is nice. Uh, let's, let's put a stop here as well. That way they have to wait on them if they need to. Stop going over the bridge. Got a pretty big long haul here. And one more here. That way it'll at least allow the trains to advance a little bit. Uh, which is nice. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look at our trains. We think we've got three of them. One's going there, one's in Berlin, one's is going from Landsberg to uh, the state. And again, I think we had, I had mentioned I want something going from Landsberg to Berlin. I think I've already got that, Landsberg to Berlin. That should be passengers only and mail. That's good. We could probably research this, get that going. Okay. We'll up it up a little bit here with the John Bull, the 040, uh, meaning that that has zero in the back, four wheels in the middle, and zero in the front. You'll notice here, this is the 222, meaning it has two wheels in the back, a main wheel in the middle, two wheels in the front. So, um, yeah, it's going good so far. Just carried out a little quality control in your development department. Uh, we need to, because I'm not familiar with what they need. I guess wood is always a necessity, uh, which is okay. And I, but I don't see any wood. Oh goodness, it's all the way up there. It looks like we've got our competitor in there already as well but uh i again wouldn't mind go to stetton stetton get something 
But here's some one up here. We could probably do one train getting all three of these things eventually. Um, let's see, does Lundberg need some of that? Nope, okay, but everybody needs wood. So I might make Landsberg uh, or Berlin. I could make Berlin a wood factory whenever it has the opportunity to grow. We need a population of 40,000 and we can get some wood in there. That would definitely help out some of the neighboring cities. Oh, this one needs, does it need bread? Oh, it's got bread. So is this a bakery too? Jeez, man, all these around here are bakeries. Everybody loves their bread, but you know, I guess that makes sense. Uh, we could go down here and get some, th and there's some wood next to Kat, Kat, Katbos, Kat, Katbos, Katbos. So we could go to Katbos. Let's go to Katbos. That way we can get some... Man, it's really spaced out, though. We're going to have to make some long trains to get anything that we want. Whew. Um, what is this? Potatoes? Potatoes. Do people need lots of potatoes, though. I've seen a lot of potatoes needed. Okay, so let's make... Uh, let's go to a Boomberg. Broomberg. I've heard of that before, I think. Broomberg? Um, we are going to just do the left track for now to Broomberg. And where's Broomberg? We're going to make it as straight as possible for my other fellow friends who don't like me having weird things. Uh, 120, we've got the money to do it. Uh, so we're going to go do it. Again, I just like doing the train station with signal control is the way to go I'm gonna, ooh, let's see i think i'm gonna do it a little weird here like this Good luck with this cute little station thanks buddy and oh we're gonna have to go through the mountain a little bit but i'd rather do that than have to go up because when you when when you go uh, like a a grading up it makes your trains go slower Golly, 200,000? Jeez. Does anybody need these things? What are these things? Yams? <laughs> um, nobody needs those. Oh, wait, we got, okay, so someone does need these bed rolls, which I think that we can, oh, man, I already created my station here. Ugh. All right, let's speed it up a little bit. That way I can get my track going. I need 204,000, and I'm going to make a new track over here that's going to catch this because... Lindsberg needs it, the bedroll thing. Does Berlin need the bedroll? I don't know what this is. I mean, it looks like a bedroll. Sushi? Maybe? But I don't ah, a competitor. Germany Pay needs sushi. And watch how I handle my business. Nothing can go wrong. Because right now, all we have is wheat coming in for our... Um, like our, 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 our production. Okay. Let's create that. Nice. We've got one going from Boomberg. We'll, we'll create a train later on, but right now we do a small train station. Well, we can't even do that. All right, we need is we need some cash and the only, really the, the true way to get cash is to bring these in there. Um, oh, we need, oh. Do we need beer and wine? Okay. We can make one of the towns that... I'm going to try to do a little bit of digging to see, like, how... Because all of the stuff needs the same thing. So, like, how can I get rid of this? I guess I could buy it and then make the supply not good. I don't know. <laughs> But our wheat is really low right now, so we might need to do another train going from there to there. Oh yeah, we'll do the mm, thirty-one thousand one of. Yep. Hey, he's cool. We might need to go ahead and do a double train here. But okay, he's he's moving along quite fine. How, because the, if I looked at it and I noticed that the demand, well, I thought I saw it. 
somewhere. I thought the demand was up. You really should pay more attention to the maintenance of your locomotives. Raw material available. Okay, so we're getting the raw material in there, but we really need to expand and, and go out to these different cities who don't have meat, such as Stetton. Stet Stetton. Yeah, Stetton. So let's go ahead, and I think I want a train station. I might just do a small one. Great. Uh, yes, <laughs> slavery was abolished. That's good. I didn't mean to just bypass that. Um, I don't know if Stetton's going to be a hub for things. So I might... I still... You know, I'm under the, like, um, thought of always do a train station with signal control. Because the small train stations, they don't have the signal control. And I feel like in any town, you need the signal control. But, anywho, we need this, though. We need to go for a tr small train station. And what we might do... Covered cab. We don't have the money to do it. I don't want to do it. Let's get our trains. Oh, yeah. There we go. We got another train over here. 31, but his speed is different. That's okay. So we're going to do some pre-planning here. Uh, we're going to... I really want to use the existing rail that we've got here. To go north. And so we need this. To go like that. Yep, and then this to follow suit. Come on. Okay. And then from there, so that's, uh, you've got your up and you've got your down. And from here, you go from down to down, like that. And then you go to your up. It won't let you connect like that, but if you do, a little trick I learned, if you do this and then connect it, it's much easier. Alright, so this is going to be the station uh, that goes to Stetton. I'm pre-planning, which I is high, I would recommend pre-planning as far as, oof, that grade is cutting into the mountain, right? Oh, no, we're building a bridge. That's what it is. Do we want to build a bridge? Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to build a bridge. Um, kind of pre-planning your tracks out ahead of time. And just go ahead and creating them like this. So I'm not going to, <clears throat> excuse me, not going to the, the big town yet because I don't have enough money to create a big station. However, I am creating the track that's going there. go we just want to make sure it's always one way so you have to s go there and you'll stop there as well you'll stop here and stop here perfect there you go and if you'll notice let's see broken down he stops along the way and here's the cool thing look there's a train there but he's going in the opposite one which is great with one of your locomotives. Okay, we're going to slow down the time a little bit. Do a uh, small train station here. Um, we might go ahead and do it on this side. Because we're going to go ahead and pick up this one as well. Uh, but we'll do that for... You know what? I probably should have done a bigger... Nah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Go here. Connect to this. And go up. And again, we are... We're going to plan for the future once again. We're going to go up to it. Try it again. Didn't like that sharp turn, I don't think. Okay. Oops. 
forgot to buy it. Oh, I can't buy it. Come on. All right, we're going to go a little... Speed's going to go a little bit faster. Come on. Just needs a little bit of money. I could take out a loan, but I don't really want to take out the loan. There we go. Uh, and this is going to go again you, you do it halfway because it won't match it right there but if you go halfway and then connect that's again a little tip and trick then we are going to connect this we're going to go a little bit further and then connect it there we go ah, golly it needs 6,000 again there we go now let's do some signal controls. We want this one to be going this way. This one to be going this way. We're going to put a signal here to stop them. Put a signal here to stop them. Put a signal here to stop them. And that'll do that. We'll probably do another signal control here just to give it a midway point. And one right. We'll do it right here. There we go. Very good. Now let's go ahead and get our train out there from Fasalt Farm. I still don't know what this is. Like, usually if I hover over it, it'll tell me, but I don't know what that is. Although I guess I, I think I have my tools turned off. <laughs> good luck. I think I have my tips and tools turned off, so that's probably why it doesn't tell me. All right. Add a locomotive. We're going to do the big baddie because you got the 32% traction. Uh, reduces construction cost by tunnels by 8%. I'm not going to go for that. All right, so we've got that because there was a, a need in Berlin for this, whatever this is. I don't know what this is, but there was a slight need for it, so that's good. Also, there was a need in Stettin. Which, there's a connection bonus, so that's good. There's an Eden Stetton for meat. Or rather, excuse me, bread. So we'll do some outsourcing from Berlin and get uh, get Stetton in there. So that's going to be our next thing that we'll do next video, is make sure that Stetton is getting some bread for him. Because we really want to get Berlin moving that bread, getting it out of their, uh, out of their station, get, making some money off of it. So this has been the Insured Gamer. I've enjoyed playing in uh, in Germany. I'll probably go along with this a little bit as well. Until next time, though, stay safe out there.